Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems on the web at lobbytools.com. The 161-page bill closes the state's only TB hospital, A.G. Holly, in South Florida. The 500-bed facility is expensive and houses just an average of 30 people, but opponents of the closing say it will place the rest of Florida in danger. And it serves uh, the very hard-to-treat tuberculosis patients, those with drug-resistant tuberculosis and those that are ordered by a court to be treated until they're cured because they're non-compliant with taking medications. Former health officials have written Governor Rick Scott urging a veto of the legislation. In addition to closing the TB hospital, they are concerned the Department of Health will no longer be required by law to promote healthy lifestyles. And it basically undermines the Department of Health's role in promoting public health. The legislation also ends a controversial septic tank inspection plan, shifting the job of inspecting septic tanks to county governments. Under the current law, if someone shows up here at the health department because they're too afraid to see their own doctor about a sexually transmitted disease, the health department will treat them and then send the bill to the insurance company. Under the new law, taxpayers will eat the cost. Sponsor Matt Hudson says the legislation will focus the department on its core mission. And I know this bill will go a long way to promote public health, bring about better health outcomes, health outcomes. Rick Scott has until April 28th to decide if the changes should become law. In Tallahassee, I'm Mike Vasilinda reporting. <laughs> 